Hello, here's Nate, and welcome to this lesson in which you we'll talk about your programs that are pre programmed in your superbrain. And also, we will talk about how to set the input and output uh, directly through this uh, panel in your, on your superbrain. You can go down to setup. And let's navigate here. If you remember, the technical code is one. Let's continue. Let's navigate to the set program. But this super brain that you got has already few programs in start. I don't know, maybe 100 or, and you can choose one from the list that you have. Maybe you have the same, uh, same system and you don't have to program it because it's already programmed you just have to change your uh, parameters or your sensors uh, or your sensor type you will see here so let's set program and here we have system a and system b as you already know superbrain has two individual systems that's run together but you can have two individual program installed that run simultaneously that means that if you have one program on system A and that program doesn't use every input and output of Superbrain you can upload another program on system B and you can fill those uh, free uh, input, uh, inputs and output that remained so let's just select one program from system A. You can select it by number or you can select it by menu. Let's select it by menu. And here we have one, six, nine, eleven, and you can you can you can press F two for help. That's nine. That means fan coil controller, three fan speeds, proportional on off three heater okay that's one and let's click on graph and you can see the the picture here uh, let's go back and let's see what is a11 let's click help four pipe let's return air, air sensor temperature okay control okay, let's go back and let's click on graph the picture okay I think this one will uh, will suit our need. Let's click enter and it's loading the program. Here you see the program size. Okay. And here are input setup. Here you can set up your inputs. Here you have analog input A. flow switch, remote enable, T remote, temperature return air and let's select temperature return air and as you see in the program is pre-selected the PT1000 if I want to change the type that I'm using in my at home I can press resistor and press enter and you can see these four are available already available so I can choose nickel 1000 and press enter and you see it changed the type if I need to calibrate it I can do that here's the offset value but I don't want to do that now you can press uh, the inch it means uh, the units and let's go back and go back
and you can set up more screens. Uh, we don't need to do that now. Okay, let's go back. Go back. We can check wiring. Um, we checked wiring if we already installed the installation, uh, the cables and everything and sensors and then we connect the super brain on your sensors and everything and you can check the wiring if everything in the installation is all right so let's select system a we have analog inputs yes and here you see you can see that one two is uh, installed and it's working correctly but it's uh, the number is so high because I don't have any sensor um, installed on my super main okay that's how you do it that's how you check your wiring if everything is okay so if you have four sensors um, there should be four sensors values uh, displayed on your checked wiring for analog inputs okay let's go back and let's display the data and here you have it here is the picture and this one is in black and white uh, if you want to you can change it into color picture you see uh, I think in lesson 6 or 7 you can watch that but here you have uh, heating coil, here you have a uh, coil for cold air, cold water coil, but uh, this is the fan and it sucked the air inside and if one is on it's for the cooling the room um, if this one is on, this one is off and it's for uh, raising the temperature in this room and this is the temperature sensor if you need for help, you have here the description, mm. but in your WinBug, you can change it and you can put here your phone number, or your address, or your name, so you know, or the any description that you wanted that you need to read. Here's text, here's what input and outputs are uh, connected as you see we have temperature turner, temperature remote remote enable, flow switch, fan status, fan overload, cool valve, heat valve so that's you can arrange it or you can click on graph and this will be all for this lesson and see you in next one.